Hi, I'm Mike with Sarah.biz, Serious Engagement, Real Results. In SEO today, we're going to do an SEO audit of competitors for a local search phrase. Uh, the phrase we're going to use specifically is pressure washing Dallas, Texas. Now, of course, you could use any phrase that you wanted based on what your business is and your regional area, etc. What's important about a competitor SEO audit is that it gives us the information we need to optimize a site to rank for those same terms. If you're already in the top 10, awesome, good on you. Keep doing what you're doing. If you've got a website, but you're not ranking very well, this is how you find out what you need to do to your website to rank in the top 10. And if you don't have a website at all, a competitor SEO audit is a great place to start because it's going to help you define what you need to just jump right into the game and start ranking as soon as possible. So let's just jump to the desktop and see what we find. Okay, so our search term is pressure washing Dallas, Texas. And uh, we can see right off the top, uh, just in the search results, uh, that's a competitive term. Uh, how do we know? Because there's ads right there in the top. Uh, underneath the ads, we now have maps. Uh, that is an important part of SEO, but that's now what we're uh, looking for today. Today in the competitor SEO audit, we're looking at the actual websites that show up in the top 10. So the first one here is 214 pressure washing. Um, then we've got Titan washing, and then we've got uh, DFW pressure works. Those are the top three. So if you can beat those guys, uh, you're gonna be in the top 10. Um, ahead of them and uh, you don't have to worry too much but if you want to do a real deep dive go ahead and look at uh, the rest of these and when you do your uh, competitor SEO audit um, anyway so those are the top three let's take a look now at what they have in common first let's just take a look at the source code and let's see if we can figure out what their uh, what they built their site with and uh, it's usually pretty easy to find out if you just kind of look down here. So WP-Content, that's a, a common architecture for WordPress. So 214 is WordPress. Now let's go back to uh, Titan, see what Titan's doing. Uh, right click, view source. Um, same thing, WordPress. And uh, what is DFW Pressureworks doing. There's their site. Right click, view page source, and uh, yeah, it's WordPress. Uh, WP includes. There you go. So all three sites are using WordPress. I've switched over to Chrome because I want to. Um, check some other things that Chrome's inspection tools uh, make easier. So uh, at 214, uh, if we look at right click inspect with Google Chrome and we toggle from desktop to the responsive simulator, you'll see that their site is responsive. It's a little tight right there, but uh, that could also be the simulator, not how it actually looks on a phone. Uh, when you're checking your responsive web design, you want to check on an actual phone, not just rely purely on uh, Chrome or other desktop simulators. Uh, let's take a look at Titan. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all going to be responsive, but you know, you're doing an audit, so you got to look at everything. Uh, let's see. So, yep, they're responsive. And let's take a look at DFW. Uh, inspect. Uh, again, yep, they're responsive. So uh, that's what I suspected. Now let's take a look at uh, another thing that's important to look at that they have in common. See that? And that means they're using uh, security certificates. Uh, that's pretty much a requirement now. If you don't have SSL on uh, your website, uh, you need to get it. So that's just a criteria. Google laid that out you know, a couple years ago. So go ahead, get uh, SSL. If you don't have it, be sure to set your redirects accordingly. Uh, Titan, I'm sure, has it. Yep, there, SSL. DFW, again, uh, SSL. So that's a plus. Now, what else do they have? Um, let's go back to uh, just homepage uh, word count. Um, that's a pretty simple thing to do. I like this little plugin over here on my Chrome toolbar, which is word count. So it's nice. All you have to do is uh, click on the page somewhere, select all content, right click and count words. So um, they're pretty good for their homepage, 700 words. Not bad. Uh, let's see what Titan has. Uh, let's switch back to uh, just the page. Uh, right 
click, uh, well, select all, and word count. Um, 629 words on their entire home page. Uh, and they're number two, right? First one had more words on their home page, second one less words, second position. Uh, that's not entirely 100% going to you know, guarantee anything, uh, but it is an indicator. And let's take a look at DFD. W, we're going to switch back to regular mode, get rid of the inspection panel, um, select all, and uh, count words, 365 words. Now that's interesting, right? To follow suit. First uh, rank site had more words on their home page. Uh, second one, less words. Third one, less ones. Uh, and is, that would probably follow suit. Uh, by and large for the other sites. I mean, you can't really compete with Yelp and so forth um, per se. You, can, you can't compare yourself to Yelp because they're a totally different site, but these are your competitors. That's who you want to compare yourself to and make changes accordingly. What else do they have in common? Uh, let's see, do they have blogs? Yep, he's got a blog, 214. Let's take a look at their blog quick. Uh, Pretty good, nice content per blog, um, images. Let's just take a gander at what they have, how many blogs they've got. Uh, so they've got like a hundred, all right? So that's good. And um, you can see they use proper formatting, H1, H2 tags, etc. An image, I'm sure there's an alt tag on there. Yep, see that? It says remove graffiti by pressure washing. That's definitely a key term all pressure washers uh, want to target because that's pretty much uh, one of the jobs that you're going to get asked to do. Um, now let's take a look at Titan. Do they have a blog? Uh, let's see. Come on. Titan, uh, About Us, blog. Yep, they too have a blog. Um, yeah, it's good title work here and so forth. I'm sure those are uh, H2 or H1 tags. Um, how many do they have overall? Uh, they've got four pages, 10 a page, if that's what it is. So roughly 40. So again, uh, volume and content, right? They uh, are ranked number two uh, and they've got good content, but they have half as much content in their blog as 214. So blogging and content uh, generation is important. Let's see if DFW is doing, uh, they have a blog channel. And what's in their blog channel? Nada. So that's kind of a crappy user experience. Um, if they're not going to maintain a blog, they should probably just get rid of that and redirect it to the home page or one of their service pages. Uh, so the top two have blogs and are ranking accordingly. Um, what else do they have in common? Let's go back to these guys and. <clears throat> take a look at their an actual blog post from each. Um, the advantages of removing organic growth using pressure washing. Um, again, targeted key terms, etc. cetera. Uh, let's see what their word count is on their blog. Uh, 543 words on uh, this individual blog page. Uh, now let's compare it to uh, Titan, uh, an actual blog of theirs. Uh, select everything. Now that's everything, right? I, you're getting the repeat of the title text. You're getting this other navigational information, but it still all counts. Uh, and what is their word count? 590 words. Very similar. Um, so again, those are some targets that you're going to have to work with. You're going to need to write some blogs with about you know 500 words on each blog. Uh, properly optimized. Now what else do they have in common? Uh, let's start at the top again, 214. They've got a uh, Google page, or excuse me, a Facebook page. Um, let's see. Their Facebook page is nice, public. Um, ah, reviews. Duh. All right, they don't have any reviews uh, per se, which is interesting. Um, but they at least have a public page and their most recent post was September 1st. Um, the one prior to that was August 31st. So on that weekend they were working, uh, got a couple up over the weekend. Prior to that was the 28th, uh, 27th, 26th. So they're kind of, you know, banging out their work, making posts every day uh, to their uh, 
the social. Uh, this photo was also on their blog, so they're cross-referencing at least. Uh, let's see, are they actually... Yeah, see how they posted it here, uh, but then they also put in a lot of information on the actual blog post. Nice trick, right? So they're leveraging their social to increase uh, backlink popularity, but also driving some users to their site and you know how long people are on your site and visit your site all counts to your SEO as well. So now let's take a look at uh, Titan, Titan's Facebook page. Titan's Facebook page is here. Uh, they've got uh, no, it's a kind of weird. Uh, Facebook's not showing that they have any reviews, but then over here, uh, there is a bunch. So go figure Facebook. Uh, but the point again is, is that they have an active Facebook page. Let's take a look at their posts. How frequently are they posting? Uh, at the time of this recording, they just posted something about an hour ago. And again, they're pushing it, people back to their website. Um, prior to that, four hours ago, they did two posts. It's the weekend. They got time to work on their blog and their Facebook. Um, August 3rd. Uh, now, actually, they had a big lack in time from June 17th to August uh, 3rd, but they are relatively active in promoting new content on their Facebook pages. Um, let's see what um, DFW is doing. Uh, their Facebook page. It's a little slow loading. Uh, well, they were on the 26th. Uh, and then they hadn't uh, posted, wow, they hadn't posted to their Facebook page in a long time, uh, October. So that's like almost a year in between. Uh, not the best uh, SEO. Obviously, they're doing well. They're in the top 10. Uh, so obviously, it's not a must do. But this is the first time we're taking a look at this. And have they been there? Have they done something new, uh, et cetera? Generally, best practices, you want to post to your Facebook page and your blog as well as Google Maps at least uh, you know once a week if you can uh, more if you can uh, but try to set a schedule of at least once a week so uh, the top two players have active blogs and active Facebook pages uh, the third one doesn't have much in the way of uh, Facebook activity but how are their reviews um, same weirdness with <laughs> Facebook saying that there are you know zero stars uh, but they do have plenty of comments over here and quite you know, not that recent, but, you know, uh, well, hell, that's over a year and a half old it was their most recent one. Uh, but if they did work on it, maybe they could, uh, maybe if DFW uh, did some more work on their blog and their social posts and got some more reviews, uh, they could get ahead of uh, 214. Uh, so... That is their social. What other social do these guys all have and are active with? Uh, Twitter. Now that account was suspended. Oops. Um, let's see what. These guys don't have Twitter, but they've got an Instagram. Let's see if DFW has a Twitter account. They have a link to it. Uh, but they haven't posted to that in, since 2018. Uh, myself, look, small businesses, you have, you don't have the resources in general to optimize all social profiles and so on and so forth. Um, could they get a backlink and so forth? Sure. Uh, could they use like Hootsuite to just auto post to it or IFTT to do some auto post? Sure. Um, since they're not really active, um, I don't know if I would give it a prominent position uh, in my navigational toolbar. But the point is they do have social and they are linking to it. And those old posts, even though they're old, uh, should still have some uh, SEO link juice. Uh, more frequent uh, posts that have bigger engagements, of course, have better SEO juice. Uh, and let's see what else they have as far as social. Uh, Pinterest, eh. uh, well, let's start at the top again. Uh, Google Plus, but that's really just an old icon. Um, they're actually linking to their Google Map page, uh, which is good. And you see that they've got you know 5.0 out of six reviews. Not a ton of reviews, but 
solid reviews, 5.0. Uh, let's see what Titan is doing. Are they linking to an old Google Plus page? Or, no, nope, they're looking to their map. Uh, they've got 5.0 uh, ratings as well out of 16 reviews. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, they have actually more reviews than the guy that's ranking ahead of them. And let's take a look at uh, DFW. They got a G icon. Are they? Oh, they're still linking to their old dead page. So um, obviously they could help themselves just by changing that link and pointing to their Google map uh, if they have one. So let's see if it works. There they are. Yeah, they have a Google map, so those guys could help themselves out just by that one quick little icon change. It takes about three minutes in WordPress to do that. Um, I would recommend it, and that might help push them up. Uh, since we're on Google Maps, uh, let's go back to our search results in uh, Firefox and see who is there. Okay, so we're back over on our search results. Uh, in Firefox and uh, look at that 214 pressure washing is also in the maps uh, which is good they're here and then they're also here in the maps so uh, part of that is of course because they are cross-linked to one another and they've probably optimized their Google map as well so it's important folks to uh, link to your Google map from your website Let's take a look at their uh, YouTube channel since they're linking to it, letting me know it's there. All right, uh, they've got, uh, okay, they could do some optimization. Um, you can get links here and so forth. What do they have in their about? Uh, they might want to fill their about information and so forth. They've had some solid uh, views for a local pressure washing company since 2014. Uh, that's a plus. Um, let's see all videos. Uh, we're going to sort by newest. And their most recent video was six months ago that had 45 views. No great shakes, but it's still there, right? They took the time, they took the effort, they put some content out there, and who knows? Maybe it's uh, you know producing some some results for them when somebody's looking for Dallas. What they've done a good job with on the few videos that they have is that they've got key terms in the video. So here's Dallas and Fort Worth. Um, Exterior cleaning, uh, synonyms of uh, uh, phrases people might search beyond just pressure washing. Uh, they've got pressure washing here, uh, pressure washing trailer, uh, and yeah, and the full title includes Dallas, Texas, Dallas, Texas. You get the idea. So they've optimized at least their videos. Uh, let's just take a look at one real quick. Uh, I don't really want to watch it, uh, but see in their description, they also included a link to themselves. So good job there, and it shows in part why they are number one. Let's see what uh, Titan has. Titan doesn't have a link in the top. Uh, let's see if they have it in the footer. Uh, I'll go down the bottom. Uh, there we go. Yep, they have a link to their YouTube channel and their footer. Um, not many videos. Um, last one was seven months ago. Uh, let's see if there's more. Uh, nope, seven months ago. Let's a uh, little bit of SEO. They, uh, you know, have Fort Worth, Texas, at least in the title. Um, this COVID stuff, uh, relative content, but not uh, really for getting customers per se. It looks more like a techie thing. Um, Wash bearing swap. Yeah, that's just pure tech, which is cool. You know, help build the community, teach people something that's popular. Uh, they didn't put in a cover and they have not included any links. Uh, they don't have any about us information. They should do that. Doesn't take long. Uh, let's go back to a video and see if they optimize that. Uh, nice uh, drone work, uh, but we're not really interested in the actual content of the video at this point. Uh, just want to see what they did with their text. Uh, again, a little bit of text and then a link to themselves. So, you know, a uh, good job. Uh, they could use some hashtags and so forth, but uh, they didn't, but that's part of SEO, right? A zillion things to do, getting to all of them and deciding what to prioritize and not prioritize is part of the game. Uh, but those are some things they could do to improve their own YouTube SEO. Now let's take a look at uh, DFW, see if they have 
Well, they're not linking, uh, not in the footer either, uh, but, oh, here you go. They do have uh, a YouTube channel. Um, they've embedded it, at least one video. Hopefully it's on their own channel. Uh, no, I don't want to watch it. Uh, yeah, they have their own channel, so that's a plus. Um, they only have one video, uh, I think. Let's see. Nope, they actually have two videos. So, um, and they haven't posted anything in three years. So, if they want to, you know, move themselves up, uh, they're out there doing jobs, you know, shoot before and after every time. Um, might seem redundant, but you can use video plus your blog uh, and your social to give yourself more backlinks, more traffic, more relevancy in the eyes of Google. Uh, also, they have not uh, optimized their uh, cover. Um, they could again get links here that are missing. Uh, what about their about page? Uh, at least they have an about page. That's a plus. They did include a couple links back to themselves. Um, not sure why they didn't add it up here. Probably because they don't have a cover. Uh, anyway, uh, those are again three sites. Uh, the one with the best content and the most optimization is ranking at the top. Um, <clears throat> So what does that tell you folks? It tells you content, 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 and optimization of that content. Now, what else do they have in common? Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is check uh, the backlinks uh, of these guys. Just a quickie, just give us an idea. We're not gonna go hardcore or anything. Um, the site I like for this is Ahrefs. Um, I'm just gonna use the uh, public freebie because uh, for this purpose it's good enough and not everybody is, wants to buy the service so um, but it's a good tool so I already have it on clipboard 214 uh, we're going to include subdomains and now we're going to check backlinks no I'm not a robot uh, how many backlinks they've got 565 backlinks um, and uh, 50% are do follow. Uh, if you don't know what do follow and no follow things are, uh, check out some of my other blog posts. Um, they've got these 565 from 98 uh, different domains. Of those 98, 70% are do follow. Uh, so here are some of the actual domains uh, that are linking to them. So. Uh, you got to kind of do a deep dive and determine if they're a good site. Do you want to link? Do you not want to link? Um, but that's what this tool is for. And that's what the paid service would be for. If you bought your own uh, account for Ahrefs, they'd give you a whole bunch of information uh, that you could use. Uh, again, it's kind of a game of follow the leader. Uh, next up, uh, let's see what Titan has. Um, close that out. Let's do Titan. And check their backlinks. No, I'm not a robot. Uh, fewer. They have fewer backlinks, and only 18% do follow uh, from 42 domains. Uh, with 69% do follow from those 42 domains. Um, again, here are some places that are linking. Yeah, they got paid links from. Uh, you might try to get some links from those sites as well. Now. Uh, Let's see what DFW has. Close. And check back links. No matter robot. They have 103, 14% do follow, 17% from. Seven, sorry, 17 domains and 53% of those links are where the do follow come from. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, they have a couple of different uh, backlinks from different places. This is curious that they have an Orlando pressure washed uh, website that's linking to them. Might have been a link exchange, even though they're in Orlando, that domain clearly has pressure wash relevancy. So that does help push them up. Um, maybe they do work in both places or who knows, uh, without doing a big, big, big deep dive. But here's um, what we know in summary that um, 
the site with the most content and uh, the most optimization is the one that is ranking the best. They've also got the most backlinks. So content, optimization, and backlinks are key ingredients to your search engine optimization. And there you have it. So those are the top three ranking websites for the phrase pressure washing Dallas, Texas. Now, of course, all you have to do is conduct the same type of SEO audit of your competitors, apply what you learn, and over time, if you follow the rules and best practices, you too can rank your website in the top 10. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll answer as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. This is Mike with Sarah.biz. Serious engagement, real results.